what is of human esteem is an abomination in the sight of God. What does that mean in words of this era? That which humans desire, want, work for, kill for, die for, is something for which your soul is cast into eternal fires and darkness of Gehenna, as it violates everything of God. Money, power, political office, etc. All are related to the sins of ambition and vanity. For these things, humans have sold their souls to the evil one. It is easy to see how such an evil person as Trump reached power, eh? And easier still to see how it occurs and recurs throughout history. Some very careful people may gain a political office, but they must walk carefully, always stepping hand in glove with God as their guide. For simple it would be for Satan to slip in a demon as a counsellor and suddenly you are being led to the paths of Gehenna. The same is true for anything you strongly desire. The devil can always slip in to help make it happen. Where do you think the aphorism, the devil is in the details, came from? For that is how he enters your life, your heart and soul. But then there are things you don't want, but you are feeling so low, and you are easy pickings for that evil one. The followers of the evil politicians and leaders are often blinded to the evil. They are drawn in through the sneaky and unclean, not clear methods of the Prince of Darkness. He doesn't ever use methods to show his true course, his true purpose, but draws people in through trickery when they are disaffected with the current state of politics, like happened in the most recent election. That is what the online group of QAnon was. That was recruiting tool of the devil. He lets them see only the evidence that will convince them that one person. No one else ever sees that same article, that individual document, or that photo. No one else, that is, except for another demon who tells them, Oh, yes, I've seen that. Oh, it was great. They are just another conspirator. But no other human recruited will have seen it because it means nothing to them. Be strong. Take heart. Keep the Lord ever as your strongest desire. And if ever you see others have fallen, pray for their salvation every day. They need to feel the light in the darkness, to know that they are in the darkness. They need to feel the warmth of Christ's love burning through the cold eyes, to know that they are cold. The descent is so very gradual that they didn't realize that they were entering Gehenna's darkness. They didn't realize the slight chill they felt was the Prince of Darkness grasping their soul. But when the light and love of Christ burn through to those still close enough to the top, when they feel the heat of love, saw the light of eternal life, the game was up. They immediately repent and shoot up out of the clutches of the demons, away from the darkness and into the light and life again. But if they won't turn away, if they won't come toward the light of eternal life and the warmth of love, the remembered embraces of love of friends and Christ's family from years in the church, 
the evil turning away all messages by telling them, No, look at this made-up fact we created only for your eyes to entice you away from your old life. No one else will ever hear or see it. Ask them, who else has seen this? To whom have you shown this before me? Who else will see it after me? No one, no one, and no one. For only you needed to see these lies just now. For it matters not to them, but only to you, now, as your heart looks to home, looks to love, looks to your friends. They do this to you again and again and again until you've lost the ability to think clearly, until you've forgotten about spouses, you've forgotten about children, about your many beloved pets and fosters, your previous happy life, except for but a brief time, so brief. Was it worth throwing all of your life away? Won't you listen to your heart? Visit beloved old friends and family members for a few days, thinking nothing of these people and their words and words and words and words, but have grand old times and summers playing together, stupid school times, memories. Forty years ago, can you imagine forty years ago? Don't you feel old now? Plans you have made over the years with these people? I mean, think of Doreen. Wouldn't you have just a ball with Doreen again? Maybe make plans now for a motorcycle ride next April, a trip down the river to see the eagles. Wouldn't that be great? Or maybe an exciting trip to Chile or India. How exo exotic and wonderful. David, you could see old, beloved friends again. One or two days away. You will spend eternity with these others, else, in the cold and darkness. You both hate the cold. Remember? Why are you running full tilt to the coldness now? Why? Ask yourself, why are you running towards the cold, the eternal coldness? For you only end up that which you hate the most. Neither of you will end up in flames. You will end up with eternal ice.